We introduce from ground to objects. Course defined self supervised monocular depth estimation of dynamic objects with ground contact prior. Self supervised learning of monocular depth estimation is an approach to learn depth without costly depth ground truths. In monocular videos, disparity between sequential frames can be used as geometrical clue for depth. By warping the neighbor frame into the position of the target frame using the predicted depth and pose, we can calculate the photometric error between them, and it is called reprojection loss. However, in the conventional self supervised monocular depth estimation pipeline, camera ego motion is only considered during the reprojection loss calculation, which is static scene assumption. But if there is an object that has independent motions, the reprojection loss is minimized to wrong depth due to the wrong disparity. This moving object problem affects the depth estimation network to predict inaccurate depth. To handle this moving object problem, we propose a course defined training strategy, which guides to learn depth of dynamic objects based on the ground contacting prior using our GDS loss. And then, the depth network is fine tuned to capture the detailed depth of dynamic objects under our regularization loss. Our course defined training strategy can easily be integrated into existing depth estimation networks and boosts their depth estimation performance. In outdoor scenes, most objects classified as dynamic, such as cars and bicycles, tend to make contact with the ground. So the depth of dynamic objects are aligned with their ground contacting points. In the course training stage, we provide depth supervision of dynamic objects by using this ground contacting prior. Our ground contacting prior disparity smoothness loss, or GDS loss, is designed to use ground contacting prior for self supervised learning of monocular depth. The conventional edge aware disparity smoothness loss guides smooth depth while preserving the edges in the images. By giving large weight on the bottom region of the dynamic objects with the ground contacting prior mask, our GDS loss can induce the depth of dynamic objects to be consistent with their contacting ground. We also mask out dynamic objects from the reprojection loss to avoid inaccurate supervision in the course training stage. Using the instant segmentation predictions, cars, bicycles and pedestrians are excluded. In the course training stage, we use masked reprojection loss and our GDS loss to align depth of dynamic objects based on the ground contacting prior. However, for some cases, our course training stage can lead inaccurate depth of dynamic objects. So we fine-tune the depth estimation network in the following fine training stage. We freeze the trained depth and pose estimation network and use them to provide reliable depth and pose predictions. By cloning the depth estimation network, we further fine-tune the network with the reprojection loss for whole image regions, which can provide precise depth supervision to the non-moving objects. However, the reprojection loss guides to predict inaccurate depth on moving object regions. To mitigate this issue, we propose a cost volume based regularization loss. A cost volume is constructed by the L1 distances between the target frame and the warped the neighbor frames with the depth candidates. From the cost volume, we can get the depth that has minimum L1 distances and we call it cost volume induced depth. For static objects, the cost volume induced depth will be similar with the depth aligned with the ground contacting points. On the other hand, for moving objects, the cost volume induced depth will be very different with the reliable depth. We use the difference between the reliable depth and the cost volume induced depth to regularize inaccurate learning on the moving object regions. Our cost volume based weighting factor is defined as the maximum value between 1 and the difference between dt1 and dtcv normalized by a hyperparameter delta d. Using cost volume based weighting factor, we can regularize the depth prediction to be consistent on the moving object regions, while allowing fine-tuning on the static regions including non-moving objects. This is an overview of our course-defined training strategy for self-supervised monocular depth estimation pipeline. This training strategy can easily be integrated into the existing depth estimation networks such as MonoDepth2 and MonoVIT. Here, we can see how our course defined training strategy boosts the depth estimation performance of MonoDepth 2, HR Depth, CA Depth, and Mono VIT on Cityscape's dataset and achieve the state of the art performance. We can check the enhancement in the estimated depth maps. Previous methods could not handle the moving object problem when the training dataset includes numerous moving objects. 
However, our training strategy effectively guides the depth estimation methods to learn accurate depth. Thank you for watching this video. If you need more details, please visit our project page.